Today we are installing HVAC venting. Uh, I'm going to hook it up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this vent here. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to add this 6 inch takeoff. Then what I did was found the best place to mount it. Here was the only, it was the only place. Added these two by fours, um, bottom and side, because you need something to uh, secure the actual vent. Same thing there. Only place I could really mount it. So I put a two by four across the bottom, and then one on the side, so I can mount it. And then we got all of this. See here. So we got this Y pipe here. It's gonna go there. It's gonna reduce down to a four inch. So four inch, four inch. It's coming out at a six inch. And what I did was I measured, I made sure to come inside the bathroom and I checked the height to see if it was the same because we don't want this vent we don't want to drill the hole um, from the other side and then find out it's too high so usually I will kind of figure it out and then I'll drill one hole and then I'll check the other side and measure see if there's enough room to install the vent and then I will actually cut it out from the back side if I can and we got our other vent over there and see I couldn't go as high because the ceiling is a different height so I actually had to take a bunch of measurements and I did do I drilled through the backside to see where I was um, up to this other soffit because as you can see it's a lot high we got a lot of extra room but I noticed this pipe here so I was like okay well the ceiling is probably a different height over there all right got it in see I put it almost flush just almost flush nice fit because i pre-measured the vent and the hole i came i marked it out i cut it all out and then now i'm gonna throw some screws here 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 and here so the reason i put one top and bottom is because the vent can't move up and down. If you just had one here and here, the vent will actually rock up and down. And see, it's not rocking because it's secure. So, we got our Y pipe up. Let's see, got it going into there. Got our 90 all bent into more like a 45. Uh, our Y, it's reduced. So it's a six inch Y reduced, four inch, six inch elbow reduced, four inch. And then back there we got our vent. So what we're gonna do now is measure. So we're measuring from the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see the lip on the inside? We're gonna be measuring from there to this little nub here because the pipe goes inside and it goes around here so it's the pipe will be male side and the back of the pipe will be female side so this is male female so here we go measuring from the lip on the inside to that nub and we are getting 14 and one quarter so 14 and one quarter all right here we are took the pipe measured from the female end sorry from the male end to the female end 14 and a quarter I measured I marked it about six times and then I took a piece of cardboard and connected the dots 
and then we'll just cut it. And if you don't know, the pipe actually comes split. It's not an actual pipe. It's like a rolled piece of sheet. So we'll just cut it. Be very careful. This edge is going to be extremely sharp. And then you put, see, it's split. It has this little flange here. I don't know if you can see that. So this goes into there and you basically press the pipe together. See, see how it just snaps in there? Let's see if we can get this. And now we got a 14 and a quarter piece of pipe. It's oval, but just get it all rounded off there. Not bad. Pretty good. And yes, to put this pipe in, you have to take everything back apart. So, put in the 14 in. We're going to build it out. Build it out here. shoot it with my laser we're not going straight in uh, we really can't we have no room to uh, but we're going over there so if you really want to get into some tight spots get a screw with a quarter inch head because on your impact that's a quarter inch and you can shorten um, the distance of the driver and you can get into some really tight spots like up on here so I was able to get up on top because I don't have an extension on there and I'll be able to get most of them because or I'll be able to do them a lot more even because I can get up up really high Now we got two different kinds of tape. We got like this flex, um, it's like plastic. I don't like this. It's cheap. It feels cheap. It just, I don't know. I, I don't, I personally don't like it. That's why I use, and when I say cheap, it's not cheap. This is still like 25 bucks. So I prefer aluminum. It just, it feels better. It wraps around a uh, pipe better. The glue is thicker. It's just, it's nicer. Like that. Line it up in the center. See, it just covers the screws. Put it back in there. And the two by four was right here, so I wouldn't have been able to tape it. I'll screw and wrap one in place. Give an idea. Make sure a pipe is where it's gonna be. Took off her extension again. All right, so what needs to happen here 
to install this takeoff. I needed it here. There's vents in the way. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the vent out. We're going to cut. Uh, actually, no, we're going to install a new piece of sheet metal. Here's the piece we cut. All right, first things first, we gotta degrease the metal and take the dirt off. The new panel I got has grease on it when you buy it new, so use some kind of degreaser. And then also um, this surface you wanna clean the dirt off of. Got the panel all glued. To mark this out was center. Let's see here. Let's put that up. So we're actually going to end up cutting through there we will put it a little lower yeah so i forgot my whole sauce but that's okay and yes having the right snips is absolutely um needed for this see how nice and round that circle is to have the right snips it's not all jagged it's not all crappy looking see that's what you don't want you don't want it all ugly like that but we didn't have the other side left and right I believe this is the right side I don't have the left with me now Let's put on the good tape. Okay, it's a pill and stick, so pill it. Make sure you line up the screw holes where you want them. And stick. Three and three quarters, so we got about four inches by about ten. That is seven eighths of an inch up. Seven eighths. We can go up four inches from there. Be careful about dropping the metal in the furnace. 